Welcome everyone to my channel. Uh, this video is going to be my top five reasons why everybody needs to build this circuit. Um, at least, um, yeah, there's like 81, a minimum of 81 times more power using this concept of uh, your power transfer. Yeah, using this um, method, uh, power is transferred from this set of batteries to this set of batteries. The positives of this battery bank and this battery bank are connected together and the negatives is where the uh, load is operated. I'll switch that light off so that we can have a quick look. So this is the intensity of um, of the brightness at the st at the start of um, that process and currently we are now on uh, day 81 and still counting for this uh, unit here I'll just turn that off again so you can see this is now 81 days after and if you bear with me a second I will swap these batteries over uh, and then we'll we'll set that back to continue that um, experiment to go longer than 81 days. So that's what it looks like at the start of the test. And then 81 days later, um, that that is the brightness of, of one bulb there. Whereas this one here, I've got three bulbs. It was mentioned to me that that might not be... Uh, this unit might not be quite as practical as um, you know your standard torch and most standard torches have this uh, three LEDs there so if we get on to uh, the main reasons you know, as I said the first one 81 times more power um, I'm basing that just off of the fact that this uh, normal configuration same as this configuration will only last if I take all six batteries and wire them in a conventional method method this will only last for up to 12 hours and then it will no longer power this light whereas this scenario allows this light to run for at least 81 days all day all night never turned off never recharged so on that basis at the moment as far as the test has got to this date it is 81 times more efficient than conventional electronics so um, it you know it's number two it's, it's not what you might save so, sorry it's not what um, you know that might save your life but uh, more to the point you know what you see you know, you might not think that this is much but catch yourself in a vulnerable situation in the dark you know I'm for example I'm on crutches at the moment um, if, if I go to turn out the, the wrong light at the wrong time I'm left standing in a dangerous situation normally you feel your way around with with your feet but like I said if you're in a vulnerable situation then you know that tiny bit of light um, that this thing has been supplying for 81 days is enough to give you the confidence to swing your way down the hallway on crutches yeah so again it's it's not what you know I know the layout of my home um, but when I'm placed in that situation where I'm vulnerable I need to I need to see things it's not what I know it's going to bring me unstuck it's I need to see things so you know having this that light candles will you know they're great but they run out and there are so many ways that I can re replace power to these double a batteries you know whether it be earth batteries or whatever so you know candles oil burners all those sorts of things that can be dangerous I'd hate to see the statistics on the amount of homes burnt down from a single candle um, you know something like this 
a set it and forget it type scenario where you know, 80 plus days later I can return to it and maybe consider giving it a little extra charge um, as I said the test is not finished so but we have to go off of uh, evidence that one there has lasted for the um, 81 days to date so um, number three you save at least 81 times more money I mean if you think about you have to recharge all batteries if you were to take this concept and convert it into uh, the 12 volt variety where you do the same thing with battery um, 12 volt batteries um, you do have to be mindful of the batteries you know, safe cutoff point you know for sales sealed lead acid battery you don't want to drop it below 12 volts um, because obviously that will do damage to the battery so be be considerate of what type of battery you're using when if you're going to go that route um, be mindful that you know say these batteries have a uh, a point amp at point eight amp hour recharge rate and you'll damage them if you charge them any faster than that then you need to be mindful that this light to transfer that power is not exceeding that input acceptable input level so that you know in essence this light becomes the charger or the transfer method so its wattage consumption in a conventional sense is what is going to be the de predetermined rate of charge so that needs you need to be mindful of that <coughs> excuse me um, your mandated blackouts are coming and and if, if you think this is trivial um, you know there's not much help for you you know, you'll be the one sitting there in the dark or fumbling around for matches or whatever um, you know, I know the UK is doing um, trials, um, or have at least discussed trials in Parliament about trying to conserve energy. Uh, just take it from me, the blackouts are coming. So if you can have something there that you know for 80 days, you don't have to think about charging. It's very, very different to candles. Um, you know, so that's important mandated blackouts are coming it'd be great to have this concept uh, and you know not only for your own safety just to give yourself the peace of mind of knowing you've got something for very very small cost that will give you light for a long time right you don't need to think about it. just go out and prepare that now um, number five build it so that you can finally start to learn the truth. This this is not new. This concept of power transfer, in a conventional sense, we would be connecting the light from the positive of this battery bank to the negative of this battery bank and depleting that energy. That is not necessary. We use the load as a function of transfer. The energy is not destroyed, cannot be created it transfers from one section to the other from one bank to the other bank that's all we have had to do the entire time since this was discovered so that's it my top five reasons for um, why everyone should have this uh, circuit I'll give you a clear view of the actual circuit so if you wire it up that way you can see with these batteries here they're in series positive negative positive negative and then the positives are joined for both banks this side they're all in parallel so this side's in series this side's in parallel the light on the negative rails here from both battery banks um, will give it that long long run time you can run the light on the positive side but it will not run anywhere near as long so if you're going for efficiency over brightness it will be brighter if you place it on the positive lines 
uh, just because of the potential difference but it will definitely last longer if run on the negative sign so there's that you can um, swap that out the LED here for and place it as I said just then in the positive line but it, w it will be brighter but won't last as long alright guys thanks for watching um, please like and subscribe and um, share this around to as many people as you can because you know, for, for under 30 bucks you have yourself a, a, a lighting system you know hot glue them together do whatever you want um, you know that's I just melted the plastic on this one so that there's six here I did actually say I was gonna swap those batteries over um, as I said that's 81 days and that's that's uh, the level that that's at let's see if we can do this before this battery on the camera runs out okay so take out the drive batteries that are in series and then flip her over and we will take out the receiving batteries where the power has been transferred to we'll place them into the drive section of those battery compartments and then we'll place in the new receiving batteries and we can see that's a little bit brighter again and who knows how long that's going to run guys I have no idea it's um, as I said 81 days now no charge no recharge just 81 days so yeah and if we apply this to other forms um, who knows what we can do with this this is an amazing breakthrough um, that was swept under the rug more than a hundred years ago um, just seems unfair now that you know don't let it take it don't let them take it from us again all right thanks guys have a nice day thanks for watching